In this video, we're going to show you to install the brake flex hose on your Toyota RAV4 located behind your rear wheels. Using a 21 millimeter socket, go ahead and loosen and remove your lug nuts. If you have a locking key as we do, go ahead and grab that tool, set that on there. If your vehicle has a center cap, you can still remove the lug nuts with that center cap in place. Go ahead and remove that wheel and set it aside. Now right here, we have our hard line coming down. We have the joining 10 millimeter nut to the flex hose. And these two are joined to this bracket via a metal horseshoe clip. So what you wanna do is soak this down with some rust penetrant as much as you can, and then break this free. Now we're just gonna unthread this just a few threads and then I'm going to tighten it back up. I don't want to lose any brake fluid at this point. We just want to make sure that it's spinning free. And you want to work at this because if you don't, this nut can actually freeze to the hard line, twist it and break it off. And that is just going to create a much larger time consuming job for you. So tighten that back up, wipe this down. Now the horseshoe clip is located right here there's a flat upper top section to it right here and we have a tool here that has a notch in it so we're going to come along the side of it here and tap it with our hammer to loosen this you can see it rotating and as we tap it it's releasing the horseshoe clip and as you pry it off, I'm gonna remove it, and that's why we call it a horseshoe clip. And it is arched, so it is bowed on the top, so when you install it, it actually has a spring retention to hold the two together and onto this metal bracket. So at this point, we should be able to loosen it. You can see it is now free. Now if we follow this through, on the back side here, we have a 14 millimeter bolt holding the uh, flex hose to the caliper. Now on either side of this uh, flex hose here, there's gonna be a copper washer on the bolt head side and one on the caliper side. So when you remove this, you wanna make sure that they're both removed and we're gonna lose brake fluid here. So make sure you have a catch can underneath or a bucket, uh, towels, anything to catch that fluid. Spin that bolt out. We're gonna be reusing this bolt. Pull that cable off and we want to make sure we can get that copper washer off make sure that's not on there and actually both of them are stuck on our flex hose here which is fine the next step we want to do is move back up top to the 10 millimeter we're going to hold our flex hose and loosen that. And basically we need to unthread that completely from our flex hose. And then get to a point you can just spin that off. Gonna dispose of that. Grab your new flex hose. Go ahead and thread that on. I'm gonna push this up and in, spin that connector end on the flex hose so it locks into that bracket. And then we can go ahead and snug down that 10 millimeter nut. Gently snug that into place. Our next step, take your banjo bolt, install a new copper washer on the bolt side. I'm gonna feed this through, put on the new copper washer on the other side, and we're gonna line this up. Now there's a pin here that lines up on the back side of the caliper. Go ahead and get that bolt started. 
you want to position that so that that little tab lines up in the caliper. Go ahead and get your ratchet back on there and let's snug that down. We are going to give that a quick spray with some solvent, clean up any of that residual brake fluid. Now we can install our horseshoe clip, make sure that the arch is facing upward. Line this back up into the bracket, push that on. And most of the time you can just use your fingers to tap it on or you can just use your hammer. I pretty much tap it on like so. It's locking it into place. Now when tightening the hard line to the flex hose, you do want to make sure that it's good and tight. The bottom side will go ahead and torque. We're going to torque this down to 12 foot pounds. Now underneath our hood here on the driver's side, we're going to find a brake fluid reservoir and we're going to go ahead and pop this cap off. Just gently peel up on the edges and set that aside. Now you can see there's a max line and then further down there is a low area. What we're going to do is use the appropriate brake fluid. And we're going to add fluid to at least get it to the max line. Cover up that fluid, set that aside, grab our rag. Now that we have our funnel removed, I'm gonna leave the cap off for now. That's gonna allow for the gravity bleed process to be a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and raise the vehicle and get back to that bleeder screw. On the backside of our brake caliper, we're gonna find this rubber cap. In most cases, you may not have that rubber cap, but I'm gonna use a pair of pliers here, some hose pliers and remove this. And that is going to expose our bleeder screw right here. We're gonna use an eight millimeter wrench here. And I have a catch can underneath to catch brake fluid. Now we're going to loosen this, spin out a couple threads. And what we're allowing to happen is a fluid is gonna come down the flex hose through into the caliper and it will come out here. Our goal is to get any air bubbles out of this here. Once we have a solid stream of brake fluid coming out, we'll tighten this down, clean it, and we'll go to the next step. Now this is a solid steady stream. There are no air bubbles showing. So we're going to tighten this down. Just gently snug that into place. And use some solvent. Spread on any residual brake fluid. Once we have this done, we're gonna pop our rubber cap back on. We're gonna hop into the vehicle. We're gonna pump up the brake pedal. Now the first couple pumps might be a little bit soft, but the brake pedal should firm up after that. You wanna go for road test. If that brake pedal feels nice and firm, at that point there, you're all set. If the brake pedal feels a little soft and mushy, at that point, you're gonna go ahead and proceed to the full brake bleeding process for this vehicle. Otherwise, you're all set. Fill up that reservoir so that you're at the max line using the appropriate brake fluid. And install the cap. Grab your wheel. Get that in place. We'll go ahead and start getting our lug nuts installed. When we get all of these started, then we'll come on back and snug them down. Good, and torque down your lug nuts to 76 foot-pounds. Now 
And if you have a center cap, you can go ahead and pop that on now. At that point there, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.